Welcome to another round of stories making headlines in the country. This is The Buzz UG and my name is Melad Milo aka Fula. Now, the Commissioner General of the Uganda Prison Services, Johnny Biabashaisha, has asked members of the National Unity Platform, Bobby Wine's camp, to stop pestering him to release the political prisoners. Biabashaisha says he has no powers to release these political prisoners, but his responsibility is to keep them safe in custody after handed to him. I get missiles from a group called NUP. Me, I don't know the NUP suspects in my custody. It isn't me who brought these people and I have no power to release anybody. I'm not responsible for releasing. Absolutely not responsible. <laughs> Now, the family of the late president of Uganda, Id Amini Dada, has started plans to return the body of one of his sons, Abdul Nasser, who died in one of the hospitals in Egypt. Well, the deputy director of ISO, Jeno Taban Amin, one of the elder sons of Id Amini Dada, revealed that the family will soon have a meeting to discuss the burial arrangements. Jeno Taban also added that the Uganda government is working with the embassy in Cairo to help in returning the body of his brother, Abdul Nasser. May his soul rest in peace. Now, members of the public are very disappointed in Uganda police officers who recorded a viral video of a man who has for a long time been parading as a woman to coin money from fellow men. While well, a big section of the public did not like the way he was treated because he's still a suspect and many have said this was very unprofessional by the police officers. None of the police spokespersons in Kampala has commented on this video but hopefully they will come out to comment about it very soon. Well, the latest sad news coming in from the eastern part of Uganda in case that a senior Sikh student from Bukoyo Secondary School in Iganga district was yesterday found hanging dead in a dormitory just two weeks to UNEB exams. Dennis Tuke, 20 years, committed suicide after misappropriating school fees for the second and third term amounting to 1.2 million. Now, according to the Busoga East Police spokesperson, that is Dana Nandaula, the deceased used a mosquito net to hang himself after being asked by the school management to go home and collect school fees balances. Well, that's really very bad news coming in from that side. May his soul rest in peace. Well, that's the latest updates right here on the Buzz UG. But subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.